Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Austin from Boss, and right now we're gonna be installing the drivers for your Katana Mark II for Mac OS X. All right, let's do it. All right, so right now we're gonna switch over to the Mac screen. So bada bing, ah, sweet, so now Let's first go to the website and download the driver. The link is uh, directly below in the uh, description. So we type in and go to boss.info. Go to the search bar here, type in the Katana model that you are using. I am doing this on a 100 watt Mark II, so I type in Katana 100. Click into that. We get to the home page. click on the downloads tab. After we click downloads, then we want to make sure we get the download driver for the operating system that we're running. So I'm running 10.15. In order to figure out what operating system you're running on a Mac, you just click the Apple, go to about this Mac, and then right here is going to be your operating system version. I'm running 10.15, so I'm gonna download that. All right, brings us to the page with the instructions, troubleshooting guide and all that stuff, which is very helpful tips if you're having issues. Go ahead and download the file. All right, perfect. After the file is downloaded, you wanna go ahead and open up that tar file. And it's gonna bring us to a USB driver here. We double click on that and open the folder. And then we're gonna access the PKG file. So we're gonna double click and open that. Ah, uh, but this error message pops up. You wanna go to the security preferences and allow the driver to be installed. We're gonna to go to security preferences and our system preferences. All right, so now, right now it says app stores, allow apps downloaded from. We wanna click app and, and identify developers. Open anyway, this which is the file driver that we have. Perfect, it's gonna take you through a series of steps to make sure that the driver has space on your uh, computer in order to download it and put it there. Uh, it's gonna ask you to go through the prompts, just follow the prompts, uh, and then your computer is going to restart. After the restart process, I always like to go back and make sure that the driver is installed properly. And this is gonna be found in the System Preferences tab right at the very bottom. And you're gonna see a little Katana icon, and that Katana icon indicates that you installed the driver properly. If the driver isn't working or you're having issues with connectivity, uh, you can go ahead and right click on the driver and System Preferences, and then you can re-download the driver from the internet from there. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Austin from Boss, uh, showing you how to download the driver for your Katana Mark II for Mac OS X. Click like if you liked this video, comment if you got questions, subscribe if you wanna learn more about our products, and thanks a lot for watching. All right, see you later. Mm -hmm.